Hello and welcome to another episode of Short and Sweet TV where we'll be looking at Illustrator. Now today's episode we're going to be looking at how you can create a polka dot pattern. So to start off with we're going to draw the polka dot so if I come across to my toolbar here and just grab my ellipse tool and before I start using the ellipse tool I'm going to come to my swatches panel and for the fill color I'm going to make it a red and for the stroke or the outline, um, I'll choose none for that. Okay, so starting off here, I'm just going to click and drag, and then as I drag, if I hold the shift key down to make it a perfect circle, release there, I've got my polka dot. Now to create a pattern, what I need to do is essentially create a tile, and this polka dot will be sitting right in the center of that tile. And then what I'll do is step and repeat that tile or create a pattern swatch out of it. So to create the tile, um, I'm going to create a square tile. So I'll come back across to the toolbar and grab my rectangle tool. And I'll just deselect that object that I've got on the page there. So if I hold down Shift Command A, that'll deselect the object. And then before I start drawing this tile rectangle, I'll come across to the swatches panel and make sure that I don't have any fill on. Okay, so no fill and no stroke. Now coming back across to this polka dot, if I hover right over the top there, you can see when I hit the center, I get that little smart guide telling me that I'm in the center of the shape. And then in order to start drawing the tile, I'm gonna hold down the option key, which will allow me to draw from the center of this shape out. Now to create a perfect square, I need to hold down the shift key and I'll bring it in a little bit closer and release. Great. Okay, so I've now got my tile and the polka dot. I'm going to group these two objects together so I can just grab my selection tool and then click and drag across both of them to have them both selected and then use my shortcut command or control G to group them. So in order to now create a swatch, what I'm gonna do is just drag this group and drop them into my swatches panel. As you can see there, it's just named it New Pattern Swatch. If I double click on that, I can rename it. I'm just gonna call it Polka Dot. Return. And I can now apply it. Now, as you can see here, it's actually applied the swatch to the original artwork that I used to create the swatch. Um, I can actually just delete that. I don't need that artwork anymore. And I'm now going to draw up a rectangle and I'll apply the swatch to that rectangle. So if I come over and just click and drag across the entire width and height of the artboard and then come across and choose the polka dot pattern, there you have it. It's now filling that entire shape with the polka dot. Now if I wanted to scale that, I can scale the pattern up or down. I just need to right click within the shape and come down to my transform options and choose scale. And it's from here that I can choose to transform the pattern. So if I select transform patterns from here and I don't want to transform the object, so I don't want to actually transform that rectangle that I created that has the pattern applied to it, I'll leave that at the same size as the artboard. It's just the pattern I want to transform. And I'm gonna transform it uniformly, so I'm just gonna bring it down by 50%. Click on the preview button to see how that looks, and there you go, it's actually reduced the size of that pattern by 50%. I'm pretty happy with that, so I'll just click OK. So that's how you can create a polka dot pattern very quickly using Illustrator's swatches panel and creating a pattern swatch. Thanks for watching and I look forward to the next Illustrator training video. See you soon.